welcome back to english b language class we are exploring the part of speech verb we have already discussed the transitive verb the intransitive verb and the linking verb with its subdivisions like tetty and dynamic forms today we are going to explore the field of auxiliary verb after discussing the remaining part of the linking verb as always here are a few points for you to note recalling the previous lesson linking verb its kinds a scrap of classroom discussion primary auxiliary verb and introduction and the conclusion we have discussed so far the linking verb shows a relationship between the subject and the sentence complement that is the part of the sentence following the verb it links the subject with more information words that further identify or describe the subject it identifies a relationship or an existing condition one kind of linking verb denotes a state the other a change in state verbs like be seem appear look etc are used only to express the state and cannot be used in progressive forms nor can they be modified with adverbs of manner let us visit a language class the teacher is discussing various kinds of linking verbs hear the teacher's voice attentively here are some more linking verbs a the text only adjectives and not nouns as subject complement b the text both nouns and adjectives c the text a preposition after them and d that takes the infinitive to be before the subject complement i'll discuss each of them separately with examples so let us take a there are some linking verbs that take only adjectives and not nouns as subject complement see the sets of sentences on the screen set 1 we got tired after the soothsayer's prediction 2 it grew dark soon and the lake with all oysters that taste good ran dry 
डेड ऑइस्टर्स स्मेल्ट बैड फोर द सुदेस वर्ड्स केम ट्रू फाइव द स्टोरी साउंड ऑफुली स्ट्रेंज सेट टू नंबर वन मेनी हैव ग्रोन फैट सिंस द लॉकडाउन टू People will go mad if once again the lockdown is declared. If we take the first sentence in the set, we can see that the verb "got" has taken the adjective "tired" to complete the sentence. See the rest of the examples. You will find the verbs "do." taste smelt came sounds have grown and will go have taken the adjectives dark good dry bad true strange fat and mad respectively what we find here is that verbs in all the sentences have taken adjectives to complete the sentence any question boys no sir we have understood this part very well we can proceed further okay the next one is linking verbs with nouns and adjectives so b some linking verbs take both nouns and adjectives as complements see the examples an intelligent boy generally he looks jolly today he looks dejected b he is a teacher he is very experienced c arthur miller became famous when the death of a salesman became the best seller in the first sentence the verb looks has taken a set of words to complete the sense joy could you tell me what function does the set of words an intelligent boy do as a noun or as an adjective sir the set of words stands as a noun phrase what is about the second sentence the the complement here is jolly it's an adjective sir yes your answer is correct try to see all the examples there and tell me if you have any difficulty in understanding them sir so we have gone through the examples and understood them very well good let me take up the next one then c linking verbs that take a preposition after them when they take a noun as the subject complement number 1 your mouth smells of mint leaves 
the biryani smells too much of saffron. Three. Now she has grown into a beautiful lady. Four. Wheat turns into flour in this machine. sentences so in these sentences verbs are followed by prepositions your observation is correct all the verbs have one preposition each after them do you have any problem in understanding this part no sir so let us take up the last one d Linking verbs that take the infinitive to be before the subject complement. One, Somes appears to be a perfect pianist. Two, but he appears to be ill today. Three, Mr. Bean seems to be a detective. Four, but in this case he seems to be disappointed. What special things do you find in these sentences, Jimmy? Sir, in each of these sentences, one to be has been used. As you can see, all the bracketed to be's can be implied. That is, if we read the sentences without them, the meaning will have no change. Shomes appears a perfect pianist and Shomes appears to be a perfect pianist mean the same. So, we have come to the end of the topic linking verbs. Here are a few words to conclude the chapter. All linking verbs are intransitive verbs as the actions there do not pass on to the agents, that is, the verbs do not take any objects to complete the meaning, but not all intransitive verbs are linking verbs. A linking verb functions as a link between a subject and its complement be it a noun, pronoun, adjective, or any phrase or adverbials. So, we have already visited the language class where the teacher was discussing the various kinds of linking verbs. Have you any questions in that part? Yes, you, Robin? No, sir. There is no difficulty in understanding that part of the topic. So, we can begin the next part of our plan, that is, the auxiliary verb. Accessory or that gives assistance or support. What is an auxiliary verb? Sir, an auxiliary verb means the verb that helps. Helps what or whom? It helps other verbs, sir. Can an auxiliary verb exist by itself in a sentence? 
Buddha said, since it is a helping verb, it must be connected with some other main ones in making sense. Sir, an auxiliary verb gives functional and grammatical meaning to the verb. Has it any meaning of its own in the sentence? A very important question indeed. An auxiliary verb has no meaning of its own. It only helps the main verb. So, an auxiliary verb means the verb that helps, but which agents does it help and how? We are going to discuss that in our next class. This month is for today. We will be back with the details of the auxiliary verb in the next class.